I'm Richard Roper, and coming right up, the magical innocent days of Hogwarts and Quidditch are in the distant past. Now we're getting into some serious dark stuff. It's my review of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, part one, and it's right now. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1 is the next to last installment in the wildly successful series that has made hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars. You may be the chosen one, mate. This is a whole lot bigger than that. It's always been bigger than that. We pick up the action here with Harry, Hermione, and Ron each making lasting and serious sacrifices in order to protect those around them, in order to protect themselves, and perhaps most important of all, in order to band together and get even stronger so they can face the evil, evil, he's really, really evil, Lord Voldemort. I must be the one to kill Harry Potter. The three young actors have grown up with this series and we've really grown to appreciate their performances. I think they've gotten stronger with each movie. Emma Watson in particular, I think, gives a star performance here. A lot of this movie is spent in kind of a, uh, an area of, of refuge, almost a sideways world, as Harry and Ron and Hermione keep trying to stay two steps ahead of the evil Lord Voldemort. This movie is not for little kids. It's rated PG-13 for a reason. There's a lot of action here that gets very intense. There's a big scary snake that would have scared the crap out of a snake in Anaconda. I have to admit, even as somebody who's seen all the movies and read most of the books, there were times when I was thinking, I'm not sure where we are and what we're actually searching for here, but we know it's all building toward the climactic, climactic battle that we're going to get in part two when finally Harry and Voldemort face off. This movie makes no pretense about being a standalone film. For faithful fans of the franchise, though, I think it does a very solid job. I think it's a little bit too long, but it gets us excited about the final chapter in this legendary series. I'm going to give this one a B+. I'm Richard Roper. You can get all my reviews at richardroper.com.